Welcome back, my name is Jordan. If this is the first time you've been to my channel before and I review boxing gear, I have a really exciting unboxing and first impressions video for you. Exciting for me anyways, because this, uh, these are a pair of gloves that I've been waiting for for a very long time. From the second the uh, manufacturer of the glove announced them, I knew I wanted them, um, but it's taken a while to get them. They're not made in large quantities, um, holidays, COVID, all of that, but finally got myself a pair and I'm going to be going through them, uh, my first impressions with them in this video today. All right, so the gloves in question are from Fly. So in my opinion, Fly does the best in like packaging and presentation of their gloves. Not a lot of companies do they come in a box. A lot of the time they just come in a bag sealed up, you cut them open. Um, so here's the Fly box that they come in. I have, I already have the Fly Super Loop X training gloves. So if you haven't seen that video, please check that out. And I do eventually plan to do a comparison of this, these pair of gloves and those gloves. So box is same as that I got with my X, very nice. Open it up and the gloves come in this nice black, bag, drawstring, so we'll get the box out of the way for now. All right, here's the bag that it comes in, really nice. And the gloves in question are, these are my Christmas present, okay. <laughs> I haven't been able to use these because I've needed to film this video, so I'm really excited about this. So, Fly Super Lace Premium Leather Training Gloves in their black and monogram color scheme. So, as soon when they announced these, the, the day they announced them, I just, I knew that I was gonna have to be, have to get a pair of these. So very excited to finally have them in hand. Get the other one here. The monogram leather all along the palm, back of the thumb and in the wrist. So we'll do a kind of a walk around like I usually do in these unboxing videos. Um, we'll set this one up here for you. Okay, so, so the first thing that stands out to me about these, unsurprisingly, is the leather. Um, from the, the look, the feel, the smell, um, incredibly unique, different from any other brand of boxing gloves I've ever used, um, which is great. You know, Fly, Fly doing their own thing and doing it in such a good way and, you know, just succeeding is, I mean, that's, it's, uh, it's really impressive. So this leather across that goes down to the fingertip seam along the knuckle area and along the back of the glove, super smooth, um, thick. So this is goat skin leather, um, which is also pretty unique. It's not used a lot. Um, very soft and like supple, really nice leather. Um, the leather on the rest of the glove, so the rest of the palm area, all along the inside of the wrist and the back of the wrist and the, and the back of the thumb, the inside of the thumb is the same leather as here, as you can see. Um, this is like this, it has like obvious, very, you can see it and you can feel this grain uh, to, to the leather, almost like a pebbled or beaded texture. It's very prominent and really unique. Reminds me of something you might see in like a designer bag or something, you know, like a Gucci or Prada bag. I saw someone's comment. I don't know if this is legit or not. So I don't know if this is real, but they said the leather sourced from this is the same leather. It's sourced from the same place that like Rolls Royces are used for the leather in the interior of their cars. I don't know if that's true, but what I am telling you is if it were, I wouldn't be surprised because the quality of the leather just looks and feels that nice. Um, so the leather is, you know, blowing me away. Super nice, uh, looks good, feels good, unique 
in its in the type of leather it is, unique in its look and appearance. Um, and uh, I think they just, they really did a good job here in kind of trying to do something unique, but I think it works really well. Uh, looking at the stitching across the back, they, you know, their traditional X pattern across the back of the wrist is there. Um, it's, it's black thread, so it's a little hard to see on the black leather, but um, when you do get in close, straight lines, no frayed edges, nothing like that um, across the back. The small seams, like across the back of the thumb, here on the sides of the gloves, very, very, very clean, um, exceptional, like you would expect from Fly. Uh, across the palm, all this stitching, very good, very clean inside of the thumb, everywhere. So stitching uh, along the palm and lace area, great as well. So overall, craftsmanship, the look of the glove, out of the park. Very excited, very pleased with the gloves. Um, for me, while well, that's really nice, the thing that's most important for me is fit and feel. Um, I've had my Fly X, which are synthetic leather gloves that I've had for a while now that I still very, very much like and consider them one of my favorite pair of gloves. So, and I've always been curious how these compare, so we'll see. Uh, the liner, it's still the same silky, uh, really smooth satin liner uh, like in the Fly X. So that's nice. Um, no baggy area at all. The liner's really tight and clean on the inside of the glove. Um, okay, so this fit, um, a couple things that I think are different. Again, I'll do a full comparison compared to the X, but two things that jump out. Um, the fingertip compartment uh, doesn't feel so distinct and separate compared to the Fly X, which if you go look at that video and I'll kind of walk through how it almost feels like a separate compartment within the compartment. Now that's not a good or a bad thing, it's just something that's different. Um, the thumb, which is one of my criticisms of the Fly X, is that it, it just took a while for my thumb to kind of get comfortable. It's in like this pre-bent position, but for whatever reason with these, I don't know if the, the shape of the thumb looks the same, um, it, it doesn't feel that way. So that's, that's already a positive. That's really nice. Um, good padding across the back, stitching's in a nice place. And it's, so And this area here is very tight against my hand. So it's a very compact uh, hand compartment. Side of my hand is right here, a little less than an inch to the edge. Cinch these up. are excellent. I mean, they feel really good. Um, soft padding across the back of the hand. I just mentioned across the thumb. It's, it's firm up here too, so it's really protective. Um, it's a softer, more pillowy uh, padding. It, it does feel a little different at first, you know, again, my Fly X gloves I've had for months, maybe over a year now, um, and used for a long time. So, you know, they're broken and they're going to feel a little different. But this, the padding, it does feel a little different, maybe a little more pillowy than the Fly X, but we'll see. I'll do it again. I'll do a comparison of those two. Um, really broken in feel. You can see really easy to open up the hand there so you can parry shots easily. Um, and again, the, this leather is so soft and kind of broken in. I don't know if you can compare it to the leather up here, the leather on the palm. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, these feel and look. <laughs> I mean, they, I think they feel as good as they look. So I'm super happy with these. Um, yeah, and then one thing that's a little different, you know, that I didn't mention across the back is there's no logo here. Normally you got their fly like angel across the back, fly uh, on the back of the hand, but they kept it really clean, but you know, they do have 
plenty of branding across there and along the palm. So you know what kind of gloves they are. So that's my unboxing. First impression of these gloves is they live up to the high quality that I think Fly has established as their reputation. Um, they, the leather is phenomenal. Next level, um, nicest, I'll say it's like the most plush or like luxurious leather of any pair of gloves I've had. Um, so that's really nice. And the fit and feel, it's a compact hat and hand compartment, satin liner, super comfortable, really smooth, silky liner. Um, and the padding feels softer than kind of what I was expecting um, compared to my Fly X gloves. So, you know, now that I've done this video, I can actually go use them and try them and uh, form some more thoughts and then get up a review for you guys in a little bit. But that's my impression of the Fly uh, Super Lace premium leather gloves and the black monogram. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the video or about these gloves, please put them down below. Um, please subscribe to the channel um, as that helps me out. Really appreciate it. Um, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. And you can also find me on Instagram where I post about my videos and, you know, interact with other people. Uh, both on Instagram as well as from YouTube about my videos or just other things about boxing in general, upcoming fights, stuff like that. So that's Jordan Miller on YouTube if you search for me on Instagram. Um, if you are interested in these gloves or any other fly boxing gear, be sure to check out boxupnation.com. I'll put his website down below. He is the only U.S. retailer of fly gloves. So what that means is by getting them from him, you're gonna get the best price because you don't have to worry about what the exchange rate from the US dollar and the British pound is. Um, so you're gonna get them cheaper for, by getting them from him instead of buying them in the UK where they are, the price is gonna be a little higher. Also, they're gonna get shipped to you for cheaper and more quickly because they're gonna come from Texas. So if you're interested in these gloves or again, any other fly products, contact Box Up Nation. When you do that, if you use the code JordanMiller10, that'll save you $10 on your purchase. So uh, already he's got the best prices for these gloves, so be sure to check him out. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you next time.